Hello everyone, it is your product screen again, and in this amazing product video, I'm showing you the top 5 best water packs in product G. Now, before we begin this exciting video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button and smash the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of some product videos. So let's started so guys um what what are water pets so water pets are um these amazing pets which can be found um in shipwreck shore and many other places so um water pets have a um are probably one of the best pets in the game and the reason is that because for example if you go to athena and if you for example let's see um there's two water pets you can buy a fuck you and a squibble now these pets and many other more pets are um are really um, good pets because um if you go to Harmony Island you can use these water pets to really help you there. Now Harmony Island is probably one of the most tricky and complicated places to battle, um and probably many of you have probably lost at least one battle in Harmony Island probably because um they just the monsters equip so many powerful runes and a lot of you don't have enough health or something. So guys, the water um there's a lot of fire pets around here and we know that water is powerful against fire just like in the charcoal soggy sandy day um in that um prodigy pet adventures episode that one over there and then the um the rain completely battered up charcoal so the thing is that um that is why water is powerful against fire because that water completely bashed up charcoal and she was like ah, no and that's really weird i don't know why charcoal didn't fight back and just like buy an umbrella from the um, store or something she, she was just like no 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 i'm staying at this beach or she could have just covered up the thing or i don't know she could have just went over to sprue carried him up and split him in half used him as an umbrella okay i'm just joking i'm just joking i wouldn't want to split sprue in half Okay, guys, let's get started on top five water pets in Prodigy. So let's go ahead and start with number one. Okay, guys, here is the number one best pet. Now, this pet is Crookfang, which many of you are probably familiar with because it is what, what you get when you evolve a Gennady. Now, you can, can catch a Gennady in Shipwreck Shore, but that's not the important part. So once you evolve your Gennady into a Crookfang, you will get this really sneaky, mysterious-looking shark. And he, um, in the Gnadi description, it says that the Gnadi is not a shark, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Crookfang's not a shark either, because it has legs, and sharks don't have legs. They don't have these malicious grins either. They, they just eat, like, Crookfang's eat first, explain later. So it has, um, it has very less hearts, but that explains it must have a lot of power. But, um, this, there is a little disadvantage, because then this, this pet will be very easily defeated. I mean, if it's against another, like, a uh, really powerful pet, but it could be a draw because the Crook Fang will also do some damage to the really powerful pet, which then could make it, like, a win-win. It's a water element pet because this is the video on the top five powerful water pets. Now, let's, let's take a look at its spells. So it has Torrent and Down Portal, which every water pet or every any element pet has the area spell of it and the normal spell. What's that? Oh, Crookfang is telling me, please don't take away my spells. Don't worry, Crookfang. I can't take away your spells. Yay! Okay, so um, this um, Torrent and Down Portal will be useful against Water Element Pets. And Snowling Ball, well, I think Snowling Ball, um, I don't know exactly. Um, Snow, Snowling Ball really won't really help, but I'm assuming that this pet, um, that's this snow, Snowling Ball will really help when battling against Plant. Also, it's um it has iron cannon, which is also really helpful because um whenever you use iron cannon, it helps against um a lot of ice pets. So this is a really good pet, and it can do damage against fire, and it can do damage against ice. And those are kind of like um really like common pets in Harmony Island, like um Crag the Ice Creator. In one of my videos, I made Harmony Island. And there's also fire pets like Draco the Ember Shed, which I also made. Um, Draco the Ember Shed was paired up with Marvella the Glorious and some other things. And also, um, let's go ahead and move on to their second best water pet in Prodigy. Okay, so next up on our list, we've got the Stampede or the Trample. They're both the exact same thing. Um, if they're at the same level, they're both the exact same thing. So guys, um, but I, um, I'm just gonna say the Stampede is the like most evolved version. You can only evolve um, the trample once. 
Um, actually, you can buy these from Dan and Anadic Oasis. Just buy the Stampede straight up if you want it, or um, if you want to do the effort of evolving, buy a triple evolve it all the way to a um, Stampede. I recommend just straight up buy the Stampede. No need to evolve it, but unless you want to. So, um, over here, if you look at its stats, it has a lot of power and a little bit of hearts, but this doesn't have so much power that it overfills the hearts. Now, um, it's a water element pet, of course, and it just, um, description here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the page where it shows this. Okay, here is the Stampede page. It has 9,839 health, which is perfect amount. It's a water element pet, and its spells are, of course, Torn and Down Portal. But it has Forest Hurricane, which does a, that does us a great um, favor because it's powerful against ice, and it's neutral against ice too. And this spell over here, well, I think it'll be um, it'll be just just a great side off, which will support other monster battles. So, so therefore, this is a great good um, great pet. It had the perfect amount of health, and it had a lot of um, it had just a little bit more power than that. And that makes it perfect. Let's move on to pet number three. Okay, guys, here we are with our third pet. It's R8. It has lots of heart with less power. And the thing is, the spells don't really matter because if you're against a really powerful pet, it'll take a long time for you to defeat it. So it's a really, really, really good pet to use. And um, this is, it looks really cool, too, and it's really easy to get. All I have to do is evolve an R8. And that's the best part. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to number four. Okay, guys, so the fourth is the equester the reason this has a lot of power to less hard fault of this pet um is easily found and the thing about this pet also is that you can catch it um by just like you, you can do doesn't even have any evolutions and it um does it does this really fast attack and it does a lot of damage as you can see in the stats has a lot of power and if it runs out of hearts, you can always use food to restore yourself. This trick doesn't work in the arena, though. But I recommend you use power pets when it comes to water pets, because then it'll be really helpful against fire, because fire is low health, and if you have a really powerful pet, like our crook fang over there, then that's a really good advantage. Let's move on to the finale pet, the back find the um the very last pet, the fifth pet, probably one of the best. This is the finale epic pet. So this is an epic and it's also a pet. So dun 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 This is um the epic Titus and if it stops is um you might be wondering, hey, this has a lot of hearts and has a neutral amount of power. Well about this is it doesn't have too much less power too much less hearts it's neutral and when in battle it won't have too many less hearts that it'll get easily defeated and it won't have like um too much power that you can like um it'll take take like a uh, like easily defeat the um pet but then if it had too much power that would be the battle would be too easy and then titus would get bored so this is the perfect last pet Okay guys, so here I am in this Harmony Island battle over here with the Cloud Creator. And I put this water spell on the team since this video is about top 5 water pets. And as you can see, I have got a um, Tsunami Attack and I've got Bubble Smackdown. And we're against this um, Storm Element pet. Now if we go ahead and switch to Titus, you can see that he has not good pets, but still... He has, um, he, he has not that good spells, but let's see what we can work out with them. Now, um, let's go ahead and start off with a whopping spear sickle crush and see what it does. And see, let's use it. Let's solve that question. Dun, 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 and whoa, it did a really good amount of damage. So the Spear Sickle Crush does a great amount of damage even though um even though um the storm is powerful against I think um ice, but I think that ice is this time powerful against a storm. And that happens in only in Harmony Island. There's only one catch. Harmony Island you can equip rune. So that is why I'm trying to prove my point here that um, Harmony Island does not count because you can wear runes and you can just say, hey look la 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 my, my, my ice ball is doing more damage and it, in reality you're wearing a rune. Okay guys, so now another interesting thing I'd like to tell you is that if you go ahead and put on an epic um, you and if you use down portal but you cannot use that spell again because you don't have enough energy but your titus ran and ran become sweaty you can use the epic attack and that does um even though it just been playing epic attack and you're battling against like a pet that's really weak it it's proven to do a little bit more damage as you can see 
um, it didn't do like much damage on this cloud creator, but still, through battle against a weak pet, I'm trying to prove my point here that it'll do a great amount of damage. And as you can see, I just lost my Titus. I don't know how that happened. No! I think we're actually going to lose this battle. But I'd really have to heal, eat something quickly. Quickly, quickly! No! Uh, guys, I'll eat extra cured cake. It doesn't matter what I eat. Just let me heal. Just let me heal. Please, 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 please. Okay, so the cloud creator uses iron cannon. Just give me my Titus back, little cloud creator. You're so mean. So let's use just Fongster Smash and get this over with. I know I could have used Bubble Smackdown, but I'm just going to use a normal Astral Spell. Don't want to cause any more chaos. I'm just trying to prove my point here. That, um, like, water pets can be useful in some scenarios and some not. Okay, so, by the way, um, candy canes are delicious, and I don't know why I just said that. I think, um, probably should make candy cane food items. Like, um, for example, candy cane food item, this, it, um, feeds our entire team. And it can be usable in the Prodigy world and in Harmony Island. That would be really useful. Let's go ahead and open this amazing chest to get a lot of gold, but nothing else. All right, guys, that's all for today's amazing video. Now, before you guys, um, before you guys leave, I'd like to mention one more exciting thing. Now, about um, about Winterfest and about water pets. Now, in Winterfest, you can actually buy blue items, which kind of look like water pets. So, if you really enjoy water pets, you can go ahead and go to the Epic Subspace if you have a water pet, put in the prizes you get, then put Winterfest decorations on top of it. It'll look like ice versus water, which looks a really cool um house theme. And the house, I have a lot of house interior decorating tips, which mine, um, a lot of wizards have came and said I like this place inside my house. It's a really comfy, cozy place if you like agreeing. And as you can see, airplane mode, I just turned on um turn on all of a sudden, which is really strange. So um so guys, um about interior decorating. So first you should have a base to sleep. That's what you, the main thing. You should have a base to sleep. Now after you sleep, you need a place to eat. So you can put up a table and a few chairs. Oh yes, thanks for telling me, Titus. Yes, we can get a chair from the Epic Subspace. As you saw, I made Titus bottling in the Epic Subspace. We got this amazing chair. Um, and then, and then what we next have to do is, um, after we get that chair, we can just decorate it with a few tiny frosty bears and, and Christmas flowers and stuff like that. It'll look really beautiful, and after you do that, that'll be, it'll be like a dining table chair. But if you have a family of 151 pets, you'll probably have to do a lot of shopping. Yeep. I'm just joking. Just buy a few chairs for you and your, uh, wizard family, if you're having, like, wizard, uh, friends and family like that. And then what you need to do is you need to put, make an entertainment set, um, section and um, you you will need to get bored sometimes. You can't just eat and sleep and survive with that. You need entertainment. You can have like a dance stage which you can get from Summerfest or you can have like a bouncy trampoline or make your own creative game. Like what I did was I took a catapult from Springfest. And then what I did was I brought some rubber duckies from Summerfest. Then I got this uh, frozen chair which you can get from Chibber Chill Mountains. Then what I did was I created this catapult thing which you pick up a duck, put in the catapult, and try to catapult it onto a certain chair. And that chair I got from Pumpkin Fest. Wow, that's a lot of things I got from the festivals. And that's that's where you can be creative and build your very own decorative house. Alright guys, now that's all for today. We just learned a whole entire lecture about um, how to interior decorate your house. And the top 5 best water pets. Now, before you guys leave, um, I know I'm saying this again, don't forget to hit the subscribe, oh, like button, and smash the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more some Prodigy videos. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.